6 GB RAM, 128 GB storage, Helio G80 processor, and 6000 mAh battery. Hello there, my name is Dominic, and today I have the Techno Pover. Now, in this unboxing video, we're also going to check the specifications, sensors, and do a little gaming at the end of this video. First, with the unboxing Google Assistant. Now, the Technopova also has an 18 watt flash charge feature over here, and I believe this is the first true Techno gaming smartphone over here. Looks nice. Let us now check the accessories. When it comes to the accessories, we have the 18 watt dual voltage charger, free screen protector, free phone case, micro USB cable, SIM ejector tool, and the headset over here. Now we saw that the RAM is 6 GB with 128 GB storage. The front camera is 8 megapixel. The rear is a 13 megapixel quad camera, and I believe it has quad flash over here. The Technopova has a Helio G80 processor. 6000 mAh battery, 720 by 1640 screen resolution. We saw that the screen size is a 6.8 inch dot in display, and the Technopova runs on Android 10. The Helio G80 processor is a 2 GHz octa core processor, and the GPU is a Mali G52 MC2. Now, the Technopova has the following sensors installed the fingerprint, of course, the fingerprint is at the back over here, accelerometer, gravity, gyroscope, very important for gaming light, magnetic field, proximity, and rotation. We can check one by one over here. Acceleration sensor, orientation, magnetic sensor, proximity sensor, light sensor, rotation sensor, and the gyroscope. Very important for gaming. The gyroscope sensor over here, and the gravity sensor. The temperature sensor is not available as well as the pressure and humidity sensors. So the Technopova smartphone is a gaming smartphone and being a gaming smartphone it has this application known as Game Space. But before we check that out, we can see that it has some pre-installed games. We have Danger Dash, we have MC Rebold, Majestic Q, we have PUBG Mobile pre-installed on the Technopova. So the Game Space application can tell that there is no network connected. I can select any game I want from here. When I swipe from the bottom over here, I can also tell that there is some more features like memory acceleration, CPU boost and GPU boost. Over here, I can also disable the message do not disturb and incoming call reject feature. When I press the plus icon over here, I can add more games from the game management application over here. Let's go to settings and see. So the settings takes you directly to the game mode. The PUBG game that comes in the Technopova is actually the PUBG Mobile Lite and I'll just install the PUBG Mobile New Era. The Technopova has 128 GB of storage. This is more than enough to download such games. For example, the PUBG Mobile New Era game is 1.94 GB. This will surely fit in the 128 GB storage. Techno really thought this thing through because the speaker is not located at the bottom over here. At the bottom, we just have the microphone, micro USB port, and the audio jack over here. Now, normally when you play games, you usually hold your phone like this, and sometimes you can use your hand to block the speaker. So, in turn, the speaker is actually located at the top over here. Nopova has a dot in display front camera over here, and if I open any game, you will notice that the camera dot is actually hidden by this black bar over here. So that won't interfere with the viewing of your game as well as the controls. Some games usually have the controls at the bottom left of the screen. So that is well hidden. So Techno really thought that out over here. If I try any other game, the same will just happen. It's just that the, maybe the Among Us game is actually dark. But if you actually check, the black camera dot over here does not actually block the back button over here. So that's very nice. To open the game mode panel on the Technopova, just swipe from the left of your screen. And if the game mode panel is not available over here, just open the game space application over here and add the game. Look for Ninja Rashi and add it. Now, if I start game, if I swipe from the 
left from my screen, you can see right now that the game mode panel is actually available. In this game mode panel, I have the option for screen recording. I also have an option of taking screenshots as well as clearing the memory. Also while gaming, you can actually open the WhatsApp application or the Chrome application so that you can actually search for whatever you want to search over here without necessarily leaving the game. Now, this is very important when it comes to online games because you don't want to be offline for a very long time over here. When it comes to screen recording, you can actually start a screen recording from the game mode panel over here. Just select screen recording, but I won't use this screen recording because the internal screen recording actually records the audio from the microphone, which you actually block with your hand when you hold the phone like this. So for that purpose, I actually use the AZ screen record application. For example, I'm still recording over here. So this application can actually record internal audio. Before I start the PUBG game, let's take notice of this button over here. This is the Google Assistant button. You just press it once like that and the Google Assistant is up for you. Now another thing we have on the left side of the Technopova is this SIM tray over here. Let's check how many SIM cards it can hold and if it can actually hold an SD card. So the Technopova is a dual SIM device and it can accept two nano SIM cards and it also has space for an extra SD card over here. You can use the game space to launch your games over here. Let me launch PUBG Mobile. I know you are here because of this game. PUBG is one of the most resource demanding games out there. It's an online game and because the POVA has 6 GB RAM, and a Helio G80 processor, I think it can handle this game quite well. Before I start gaming, this is my temperature gun. The temperature of the Technopova is 31 degrees right now. I will also check the temperature after a 30 or maybe 20 minute game and see if there will be any overheating over here. So currently the temperature is at 31.2 degrees centigrade. Here are my graphic settings. I'm using HD graphics with high frame rate. And as for the sensitivity, I have already enabled the gyroscope. I know you guys want to know about the gyroscope a lot. I haven't gamed using the gyroscope, so I'm not that well. So here are my settings. I'm just going to leave this as it is because I have already enabled the gyroscope over here. It's always on. Like I said before, we are going to check the temperature after a 30 or maybe 20 minute game over here. Now you can tell that the Technopova has the gyroscope because when I move the phone it also changes the orientation of the game down, up, down, up, sideways. 
Mapping buttons on the Techno Cover is also easy. Just swipe the game mode panel from the left of your screen. Scroll over here and select magic button. For this purpose, I'm going to use the volume plus button as my firing button. So go to next step. Now take this pointer and drag it to your firing button over here. If you're done, just say done. And so if I press the volume plus button over here, that will be my firing button. Even if I change firearm, that will be my main firing button. Let me firearm again. So that's it. So after like a 35 minute game, the temperature on the Techno Pover is 37 degrees over here. You can measure 38 degrees on the fingerprint scanner. Around 38 degrees. It's not overheating. So this is a good gaming device. That's it guys. Thank you for watching. So tell me in the comments below, would you consider buying the Techno Pover? According to me, everything about this smartphone is good except for the screen. I wish the screen was a full HD screen. Everything else is nice. The speaker location is very nice. The RAM is sufficient. The storage is far more sufficient. So tell me in the comments, would you consider getting the Techno Pover? Thank you again for watching and goodbye.